Ladies and gentlemen, I would not have believed this if I hadn't read it. And there's a trailer on YouTube, but I'm not going to show it because it is kind of graphic. There is a show called Cracker that is coming out. And it's created by this man here. Uh, his name is Rage, I believe. He is a record producer, hip-hop uh, producer. He's married to a black woman since 2002. And he has made this series where there was a white supremacist that goes, somehow gets uh, transported back in time of the slave times. And the roles are reversed now. So white people are being hung. White women are being raped. And the slave owners are black people. Okay? Of course, a lot of people who are white have a problem with this. When I, what I saw from the YouTube video, it has more dislikes than likes. I mean, that's not a surprise. Me supporting this show, I won't support this show. I mean, I know some of you out there that, you know, you can't stand white people. I mean, I can't stand what the fuck they do. I don't hate them. But I'm not a friend of theirs either. I'm not going to support this show. I'm just not going to support it. It's not the fact that this man is in an interracial relationship with a black woman. I, don't, I just don't care. I'm not going to support this show. Because it doesn't make me feel better as a person. What will make me feel better as a person is getting justice and getting things changed. A fucking television show doesn't do a fucking thing for me. But entertain me for a couple of hours. And that doesn't, that doesn't do anything at the end of the day. So there's this show called Cracker. Um, as you can see here, it says creator hype that series may inspire real violence on white people. Um, there are some white people out there that, that believe that this show may inspire black people to go out there and start killing them because of what's going on now because we're showing that we're showing that we're getting tired of the injustice that's going on in our particular community you know they're getting scared of shit like this i mean it's just it's a fucking joke to me it's funny that they even have a damn show like this i want to read a part of this article which is so interesting to me and i'm gonna tell you why it's interesting in a minute the new series, without the shadow of a doubt, is divisive and extremely racist revenge porn that has now been confirmed with a comment from the actual creator of the show, wherein he showed excitement and approval of a comment that warned that his series might actually result in death of white people. A concerned follower commented on the trailer that Rustin Gini, that's Rage's uh, real name, posted on his Instagram saying a lot of white folk are going to get killed if this gets released, to which he replied with a series of 100 emojis as you can see right there. Right down there it says 100. Alright, so what I find funny is that they say this series is divisive and extremely racist, but we've had television shows where white people have been uh, in charge of being slave owners as they were in history, and the things that happen in that particular thing, like Roots or other shows that are about slavery, have been very racist as well, but nobody in the white community was complained about that. I'm not by any means defending this show because, I, like I said, I don't care to watch it. It doesn't do anything for me at the end of the day. All this is white man trying to stroke his own power, trying to show that he is a self-hating white man. I mean, hey, that's good on him if that's what he wants to do. But to me, it's funny how they say it's divisive and extremely racist when I've seen more things that white people have done in their shows to black people and other people. But I'm specifically talking about my people right now, black people, that are racist, but nobody cries foul there. It's funny to me. Did this guy really do this for his love of black people, for the love of his black wife, or did he do it just to piss white people off? I don't know. I think he did to piss white people off, to tell you the truth, because uh, look at this guy right here. He thinks he's black the way he's posing. This shit is funny to me. Maybe he does like the hip-hop culture. Maybe he does really love black people. I don't know. I don't trust most of these people. You already know how I feel about them. I don't hate them. I just don't trust them. To me, a lot of their fucking support and a lot of their love is bullshit and fake, as far as I'm concerned. This is his wife right here. As I said, I'm about to end this video, but I just wanted to talk about this real quick. But like I said, um, I don't believe a lot of this um, so-called love for black people all of a sudden when I haven't seen it before and I've been alive so long. I just find it to be bullshit. This man is using his platform to piss white people off and he's doing a damn good job of it, making himself a target. Even make his wife a target at that point, but I mean, whatever. But um, this series just reverses the roles of slave and slave master, making black people the slave owners, slave masters, and white people the slaves. Of course, white people ain't gonna like it, we know this already, but it still ain't something I'm gonna support because, like I said, at the end of the day, it doesn't do anything for black people. It's bullshit. I'm out.